The first thing we want to do when trying to solve an exponential equation is see if we can write our numbers using the same base. And I've got here a one-third and I've got a nine. And both of those I can write as a base of three. One-third is three to the negative one. So I've got three to the negative one raised to the x minus three. And then nine is three squared. Now on the left side, I can use the exponent property, which says that if I have an exponent and then raised to another exponent, I can multiply those two exponents. So this becomes three to the negative x plus three, multiplying that negative one by the x minus three, and that's equal to three squared. Now these, uh, these two sides of the equation have the same base of three, and so we can use the one-to-one -one property of the exponential, which says that if the base is the same, um, on both sides of the equality, then the exponents have to be the same. So we have negative x plus 3 has to equal 2. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we get negative x equals negative 1, which means that x is equal to 1. For part b, again, we'd like the same base here. And, uh, and we do have uh, a common base, 4 and 32 can both be written as a base of 2. So the 4 I write as 2 squared. I've got 2 squared to the 2 minus x. And then that 32, that's 2 to the 5th. So 2 to the 5 raised to the x. Now this isn't quite what I want because I'd like it just as a base of 2. I don't want 1 over that. So I know I can do that by using a negative exponent. So this becomes 2 to the negative uh, 5x. Now on the left side of the equation, if I multiply that, uh, those exponents, I get uh, 4 minus 2x. So now I've got the same base on the left and on the right, and using the one-to-one -one property of the exponential, that tells me that the exponents must equal. So 4 minus 2x equals negative 5x. If I add 2x to both sides, I get 4 equals negative 3x and then divide by negative 3, and we get x equals negative 4 thirds. For part c, most of the work is already done for us because we have here a base of e on both sides. So I can jump straight to setting those exponents equal to each other. 8 minus 2x equals x plus 1. If I add 2x to both sides, I get 8 equals 3x plus 1. Subtract 1 from both sides, we get 7 equals 3x. And then divide by 3 to get x equals 7 thirds.